over. Brad's giving me a divorce. We're free. We can be together. Thank God you stopped me from leaving town. So, um, what Brad said when you told him? I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Carly. <laughs> oh, Carly, what? How's he feel about me and Evan Wentworth? Well, he's going to take care of that. Carly, mm -hmm. what, what's he going to do? He went to the FBI. They're going to handle it. So you don't have to. But, but maybe, Carly, maybe I should follow up on it because Brad really doesn't know Just how to Just let him do it his way. He sounded very strong and very sure of himself. I'm convinced that Wentworth is going to be caught. I know that I, I was so nervous about it before, and now I'm not. <laughs> Carly, that's why... Jack, that's why I Jack! We have earned the right to think about us. This is the happiest night of my life. And it's going to get better. And better. And better. Because there is nothing standing in our way now. Nothing will stand in our way again. Jack. Oh. Don't ever let me go. Make love with me. It's real to me now. It's as if I can reach out and touch it. You will finally be a part of Parker's life, which makes perfect sense to me since you helped bring him into the world. And you will be a wonderful stepfather. And the three of us will travel all over the world having wonderful, exotic adventures. Not a school breaks. No. No, we'll just... Bring the tutors with us. It's the magic of money, Jack. They don't have to... They don't have to live like ordinary people. We can do whatever we want. If we feel like wintering in the Caribbean or the Mediterranean, we just rent a yacht in the crew, call our friends and family, and off we go. Then we have a floating schoolhouse for Parker. Or if you're in the mood for an African safari or a ski trip to Switzerland, you just tell the pilot to gas up the plane, Jack, and we're off. There must be something you'd like to do. I just want to share my life with you and Parker. Do something good and solid. I'd love it if the two of you moved into Milltown. The affair was it's just, I don't know, it's not homey. It'd be great to come home after work and then trip over his toys and take him upstairs for a bath. Tuck him into bed together. Get a lullaby. And then we could head downstairs for dinner. Maybe have some wine that I brought home. Talk over the day, listen to music. And then head upstairs and tuck ourselves in. Maybe even get some sleep. So how's that sound to you? Hmm? How's uh, Snyder's hokey down home, down to earth future sound to you? It's Jet Center. I just had a revelation. This boathouse is extremely special to us. I'll just have to buy it. <laughs> I will. For us. No one else can have it. And, and, and I'll buy part of the river, too. Carly, you can't buy a river. Oh, can't I? I don't know any of you, 
<laughs> You're catching on. You know, we'd come here every single year on our anniversary. And we'd make love. And I'd remember that this is where it started. This is where it started.